The story for today is Duck for Turkey Day by Jacqueline Jules, illustrated by Catherine Meter. To get ready for Thanksgiving, Tweet's class sang turkey songs. They made pinecone turkeys. They talked about pilgrims and Native Americans. See you on Monday, Mrs. Cook said when the bell rang. Have a great turkey day! Tweet was excited about the Thanksgiving holiday. They would get three days off from school. But there was something important she had to talk to Mama about. Mama, Tweet said as soon as she got home. We need a turkey for Thanksgiving. No, we don't. Mama smiled. We'll buy duck at the market. But everybody else will have turkey, Tweet said. That afternoon, Banoi arrived from New York. Tuet hugged her grandmother. We are having duck for Thanksgiving dinner. I know, Banoi said. We are using my recipe from Vietnam. Everybody else has turkey. Our family likes duck better, Banoi answered. Back home, Tuet went to her bedroom. She pulled her pinecone turkey out of her backpack. Mama and Banoi don't know the rules about Thanksgiving, she told the turkey. Tweet counted the money in her wallet. Twelve dollars. It might be enough to buy a turkey at the market. On Wednesday, Mama drove Tweet and Banoi to the Saigon supermarket. Tweet held her wallet in her hand. Inside the store, she saw all sorts of vegetables. She saw fish, pork, duck, chicken, beef, shrimp, but no turkey anywhere. Tuet watched Banoi talk to the man at the counter. He handed her a package. This duck will be delicious, Banoi told Tuet. Tuet put her wallet in her pocket. The next morning, good cookie smells filled the house. Tuet peeked into the kitchen. Soon, all kinds of food would be put out on the table, but there would be no turkey. Tuet ran to her room and brought back the pinecone turkey she had made in school. Now there's a turkey on the table, she said to herself. She felt a little better. Her cousins, Kimili and Min, came over at three. They played tag outside until the grown-ups were ready to eat. Did you know we were having duck for Thanksgiving dinner? Tuet asked her cousins. Yum, said Kimili. I love duck. With spicy sauce, said Min. Mama called them inside for dinner. Kimili and Min ran up the steps, but Tuet walked slowly. Was she the only one who knew that Thanksgiving was Turkey Day? I'd like to give thanks, Daddy said when they sat down at the table. For our home and our family. For America, Banoi said, raising her glass. For all this good food, Min said, picking up his fork. I'm hungry. Everyone laughed and passed their plates to be filled. Tuet had a little bit of everything, but she had seconds of the duck. She loved the spicy sauce and dark meat. When it was time to say goodbye, everybody hugged. What a great Thanksgiving day, Kimili told Tuet. It had been wonderful, Tuet thought, with lots of good food and family fun, but what would Miss Cook say about eating duck on Turkey Day? On Monday morning, Mrs. Cook gathered the class on the story rug. How was your Turkey Day? she asked. Tuet raised his hand. My grandpa came. We played football. That's nice, Mrs. Cook said. Who else saw grandparents? Tuet raised her hand along with other classmates. Who saw cousins? Mrs. Cook asked. Tuet raised her hand again. Would like to talk about their dinner. Mrs. Cook looked around the room. Tuet put her hand down. Tears burned her eyes. Is something wrong? Mrs. Cook asked gently. We didn't have turkey, Tuet blurted out. We had duck. For a few moments, the class was quiet. Then, Fong raised his hand. We didn't have turkey either, he said. We had noodles and chicken. We had lamb. Tarek said. We had roast beef, Jonathan said. We had enchiladas, Carolina said. We had tofu turkey, Amy said. Mrs. Cook smiled. 
It doesn't matter what you eat on Thanksgiving, as long as you have a good time with family and friends. After school, Tuet hurried home. Mama, she called when she opened the door. I have a new name for Thanksgiving. In our house, we can call it Duck Day. The end. Bye-bye.